down to smash burger, feeling frosty, or low-key feeling pizza panic, get hungry. When it comes to fast food chains, these states are hogging all the extra napkins. Alabama is known for many things — college football, genuine southern hospitality, and having more fast food restaurants per capita than any other state. According to The Takeout, there are roughly 6.3 fast food locations for every 10,000 Alabamians. Locals have their choice of nearly any major fast food chain, but the one you'll see the most is Subway. Considering that the corporation boasts over 20,000 locations in the U.S. alone, it's no surprise that one of the most popular restaurants found a home in the most fast food-loving state. When Subway opened, they changed the fast food game. But sometimes you gotta refresh to be fresh. Alabama is also home base for multiple fast food chain corporate headquarters. Jack's launched in Homewood, Alabama, and still enjoys the state as its corporate base. Sure, it might not be a nationwide hit yet, but diners across four southern states love Jack's for its decadent comfort food menu. Another Alabama original, Guthrie's, has brought its signature chicken fingers to eight states, even as far north as Ohio. For fast food fans who love Wendy's, Florida's the place to get your Frosty on. Wendy's opened its doors in 1969 and has built a loyal following ever since. It's smaller than chains like McDonald's or Subway, but is still recognizable in the U.S. and abroad. This chain is best known for its square-shaped burgers, thick-cut fries, and, of course, its signature dessert in a cup, the Frosty. Although Wendy's started in Columbus, Ohio, and now features locations in all 50 states, there are more Wendy's in Florida than anywhere else. It'll catch on, right? Of the nearly 6,000 Wendy's that are open as of 2023, Florida hosts 536 of them. That's almost 10% of the whole chain. Although the southeast Florida coast boasts the largest concentration of restaurants, fans can find a Wendy's in nearly every region of the Sunshine State. Most major cities are home to at least a few outposts, but your best bet will be in Miami, with its 45 locations. Of course, Orlando residents and Disney World fans also have their fair share of locations to choose from, with 32 spots inside city borders. Although Hardee's might not be as widespread as some of the larger fast food chains, it's been a regional favorite in the southeastern U.S. since the 60s. In true Southern fashion, Hardee's serves up a full breakfast and lunch menu, including the staples like burgers and fries. The chain is beloved for its biscuits, which have been a hit on the menu for decades. Hungry fans can find this restaurant in 31 states along the southeast coast and the northern Midwest. But despite this spread, North Carolina is still home to the highest concentration of outposts. This state boasts more than 200 Hardee's, 13% of the chain's total restaurants. All natural, juicy, grass-fed beef. Despite this volume, the North Carolina Hardee's locations are spread far and wide across the state. While some chains aim to open in virtually every neighborhood, this company takes a more relaxed approach. As a result, the city of Rocky Mount is home to the most restaurants within the state, with just six. Notably, residents of Indianapolis, Indiana have access to the most significant number of Hardee's, with 15 locations within city limits. New Yorkers are famous for loving their coffee, and that might be why the Empire State hosts more Dunkin' Outposts than the rest of the country. Of course, the chain's menu now extends far beyond classic coffee and donuts, with iced coffee and lattes becoming newer fan favorites. The company is a product of New England, launching in neighboring Massachusetts in 1950. Its home state boasts over 1,000 locations and counting, but New York's home to 15% of all Dunkin' restaurants. I love Dunkin', guys. What are you talking about? Unsurprisingly, four out of the five New York City boroughs are among the most Dunkin' friendly cities in the U.S. There are 165 outposts in Brooklyn, the third highest number in any individual city. Manhattan, Staten Island, and the Bronx also made the list, with a significant number of locations in each. But the chain's popularity extends well outside New York City, spreading across multiple counties to the north and west. In a state that boasts one of the lowest numbers of fast food restaurants per capita, per 24-7 Wall Street, the fact that Dunkin's going strong with over 1,400 locations is impressive. 
Some fast food chains catch on nationwide, while others remain a well-kept secret for locals only. Culver's is a Wisconsin original, with many locations peppered around the Badger State. It offers traditional fast food staples, but also cooks up its own specialties. Fans know Culver's for its butter burgers and cheese curds, a favorite treat in the state. And there are also various fried seafood options, frozen custards, and ice cream floats featuring their signature homemade root beer. Butter burgers, frozen custard, how can you possibly go wrong? This chain has opened just over 900 restaurants, and 16% of those are within Wisconsin's borders. Although Sauk City is the chain's birthplace, Milwaukee is now the best place to find this restaurant with its nine locations. But if you're out of state and jonesing for a butter burger, you might not have to road trip to Wisconsin to get it. Since its launch in 1984, the chain has spread across 26 other states, including Arizona and Iowa. The Florida Times Union reported that the chain is also gaining popularity in Florida, with new locations popping up across the state. And fans living in Indianapolis have just as much access to this chain as Milwaukee locals, with nine locations of their own. Some chains prove that a tiny company with a great product can equal legions of fans. Despite its size, White Castle built a cult following that has spanned literal decades. This company's history dates all the way back to the 1920s, when it was considered one of the first fast food chains. And they've remained an iconic staple thanks to their square, slider-style burgers sold by the sack. The chain also offers chicken, fish, and even veggie burger sliders. That's what it's about, White Castle life, man. There are roughly 350 White Castle restaurants across the U.S., and Illinois is home to 59 of them. Despite the brand's origins in Wichita, Kansas, and eventual move to Columbus, Ohio, both states can count fewer restaurants than Illinois, with Kansas being one of the 36 states that have zero White Castle locations outside the Midwest. The biggest concentration of outposts is in the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic coast. Still, Floridians who love those burgers in a bag are in luck. NBC Miami reported that White Castle opened its only Florida-based location in 2021, right by Disney World and Orlando. Roast beef may not be the first thing you think of when you're thinking fast food, but don't count out Arby's. According to Nav, two brothers founded the chain in Boardman, Ohio in 1964, with the classic roast beef sandwich as a cornerstone of the menu. Although roast beef is still a favorite, the menu has expanded over the years to include sliders, chicken sandwiches, and even locale options like wraps and euros. The chain is also famous for its curly fries, a rare offering among fast food vendors. They could have just made a TV commercial. Arby's has now spread across 48 states, but Ohio locals are still its most significant fan base. The Buckeye State is home to 278 restaurants, or 8% of the chain's locations. Cincinnati's 14 outposts represent the most in any city in the state. But unlike some chains, this company isn't highly concentrated in any one area, not even its home state. There are far more Arby's in the eastern half of the nation, but those signature sandwiches reach as far west as Washington State and southwestern California. Fast food pizza is a staple nationwide, but one state loves their greasy pepperonis more than others. Although New York, Chicago, and Detroit are titans of the industry for their signature pizza styles, Texas is the best place to get fast food pizza. Don't you feel like a pizza? The Lone Star State holds the unique distinction of having more Pizza Hut, Domino's, and Papa John's locations than any other state in the country. For being so widely recognized for its Texas barbecue scene, it might be a little surprising that fast food pizza is so beloved by locals. But notably, none of these chains originated there. Pizza Hut got its start in Wichita, Kansas in the 50s but Texas now features over 900 locations. Papa John's, an Indiana original, opened almost 10% of its restaurants in Texas. Even Domino's, having opened 11% of its locations in the state, launched way up north in Michigan. Houston is by far the top spot for fast food pizza, hosting more locations for each chain than any other town in the United States. San Antonio and Austin fans can also find their favorite pizza joint easily, with double-digit outposts in each of their cities. 
Burger buffs from outside the southeastern U.S. may be vaguely familiar with Crystal, but this regional staple has roots stretching all the way back to the Great Depression. Two business partners founded the chain in Chattanooga, Tennessee in 1932, and slider-style burgers became one of its first offerings. The cornerstone of the Crystal menu is still its sliders, available in beef, chicken, and breakfast biscuit varieties. The only side chicks I've seen that look better than me are these right here. Even though Tennessee is the birthplace of this chain, most Crystal Outposts can be found in Georgia. The Peach State is home to 103 restaurants, a whopping 35% of the company's stores. Atlanta, Macon, and Augusta each feature six locations, and fans in Florida, Alabama, and nine other eastern states can also get their crystal on. There's even a location in Puerto Rico. After nine decades in business, the chain is still innovating. According to Restaurant News, the company debuted a fresh store concept in 2023 that occupies 1,000 square feet less than a traditional restaurant and costs less to build. This new design may mean Crystal has big plans for the future. Of all the fast food cuisine options available, burger chains are indeed number one. It's a challenge to stand out from the crowd in a competitive field, but the Denver, Colorado native Smash Burger came to play. This chain is among the newer crop of fast food joints, debuting with a single location in 2007. The name comes from the chain's signature cooking method, which involves smashing the burger patty onto the grill. The outpost also offers chicken sandwiches, turkey burgers, meatless options, and garlic rosemary fries. Pretty nice, huh? Yes. Yeah. I'm just in burger heaven right now. Fans can hit up Smash Burger in 35 states, but Colorado still has the most locations. Overall, 13% of the chain can be found in the Centennial State, and Denver features the most restaurants in any city. This company opened just over 200 restaurants and has spread across most regions of the country. Diners in New York, Florida, California, and even Anchorage, Alaska can all sample the smashed patty method. Plus, the company shows no signs of slowing down. In 2022, Nation's Restaurant News reported that the chain signed a hefty franchise agreement that likely means more burgers, more places. U.S. diners have dozens of fast food taco chains to choose from, including a small Wyoming-based joint called Taco John's. The chain started as a humble taco stand in the late 1960s and has grown into a popular Midwestern favorite. The menu features unique burritos, tacos, breakfasts, desserts, and even cold brew coffee. This brand is so passionate about tacos as life that it even owns the actual trademark to Taco Tuesday. That looks good. That looks like a cry for help. Still, despite its Wyoming roots, Taco John's most significant customer base is in Minnesota. The state is home to 15% of the chain's restaurants, with 58 locations in all. St. Paul alone has four outposts, more than any other Minnesota city. The Equality State is also home to the company's second corporate headquarters. Although most of its restaurants are centered around the northern half of the Midwest, the chain has expanded its reach across 23 states. Fans in western Nevada can find a Taco John's near them, and the company has opened a handful of locations in Massachusetts. As the third largest state by area, it's no surprise that California's got plenty of prime real estate for fast food restaurants. The Golden State tops the list of most restaurant locations for virtually every nationwide chain, including McDonald's, Subway, and Taco Bell. California is home to over 4,000 locations from just these three brands, and that's not even the full story. Whatever she's paying, I'll pay you double. Fans of KFC may assume that this Kentucky original has the most significant presence in the mid-Atlantic states. Nope, California features the most locations. The state also has plenty of homegrown chains that went on to become popular across the country. Anyone who loves the 31 flavors of Baskin Robbins ice cream or Jack in the Box popcorn chicken can thank California for launching these restaurants into the stratosphere. 